So today I'm gonna get into more de- Hey, stop it. I'm trying to record. Mic check one, two. So today I'm gonna get, I'm gonna lock you in the washroom. Stop it. He doesn't want me to make this video. Mic check one, two. So today I'm gonna get, okay, you're going in the washroom. <clears throat> so today I'm gonna talk about, you be quiet. What's going on guys, Investing Hustler here and today I'm going to talk about how you can make $1,000 every day selling Androids. Now first off, this video was so hard to make because believe it or not, I had way more Androids than this. I had a bunch of Samsung S7 Edges, I had a bunch of LG G6s, I had S8 Pluses. And every time I wanted to record this video, I had a call where I had to go meet someone and make a sale. And then my, I had a wall and I, it had to shrink down to a pyramid because I ran out of phones. Well, I still have a lot of phones, but I've been selling phones every day. It's been a hectic week for me. I was unable to record, but here I am. I haven't posted up any ads yet. Um, I actually have a, uh, one of my wholesalers. He buys phones from me wholesale. Um, he's ready to purchase like almost all my S7 edges, so I've been holding him off I told him I don't even have any at the moment, so I lied Hopefully he doesn't watch this video, but let's get straight to the point So today I'm gonna get into more detail as to how much I purchase these phones for how much I sell them for so my profit off each phone and Also, what is my hottest selling Android? These are gonna be the three things I'll be talking about today so right now, as you can see, I have my wall of Androids. First I had my wall of iPhones, well technically it's a pyramid, and now I have my wall of Androids. So it's time to show love to my Androids. I said it before, I don't discriminate against no items. I don't care if it's an Apple or Android. I know there's some fanboys out there that love Apple and hate Android and hate Apple and love Androids. Well, you know what you gotta do? You gotta dab on them haters. I'm just playing. Don't dab on them haters. Video. Dab, 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 dab. Some people love Android. Some people hate Android, some people love Apple, some people hate Apple. Me, I'm in the middle playing for both teams. Why? Why is not really a good question. The real question is why not? Why would I limit myself to one group of customers when I could be selling to both? That equals more money for me. So the real question is why wouldn't I sell both? I, I have my preference, but it doesn't matter to me because I know there's people out there that love Androids clearly because it was almost impossible for me to make this video because I've been constantly getting calls to sell these phones and my wall pretty much shrunk in half. Well, now it's a pyramid. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is how much I bought these phones for. So before I get into that, I'm gonna talk about one of my connections, and this is the guy that I bought these Samsungs for, how I met him, what he does. Um, I initially met him because I just I was looking on Kijiji, I pretty much bought one iPhone off him, he had it advertised for $600, I offered him $500, he said okay if you come pick it up. I picked it up, paid $500 for it, I ended up selling that iPhone for $650, so I made a nice little $150 profit off it. And every time I meet people and like they seem legit and everything, I always ask them, do you sell other phones? Do you sell other stuff? Because I'm always buying. And then usually they say no, or if they say yes, then I'm like, can I take your number down? Can I save your number? And then I'll contact you, or here's my number, contact me if you ever have anything for sale. I buy anything as long as the price is right. And then that's pretty much how we developed our um, our partnership I guess we could say and like how he what how he gets his phones is pretty much he has like a company that works with foreign exchange students and they come from uh, countries all across the world so pretty much what he does is he gets them phone lines so he gets them phone lines because they're coming from out of Canada and he gets them a phone line with a plan so these kids they already have their own phones they come to Canada with their own phones and all they do is, is all they need is a phone line so he gets them a sim card with a phone line and a nice little plan and every time he gets them that it comes with a free phone 
So pretty much what he does is he gets all these free phones that these foreign exchange students do not need because they already come with their own phones. I mean, they already come from another country carrying their own personal phone, so they don't need uh, a free phone. So he keeps the phone, gives them the phone line, and then he calls me up with like a bunch of iPhones, a bunch of S7s, a Samsung's, LG's. I've, I've bought a lot of different things off him. So that's how he gets his stuff. So now, how much did I pay for these? So I'm gonna talk about the S7 Edges because I had like 25 of them. I bought 25. Initially, he was selling them $400 each. He always gives me his best price because he knows I'll buy an unlimited amount. And um, I've been like with him, I've been like buying off him for like almost a year now. I'd say like 10 months. So 25 pieces. Um, he was selling them $400 each. Uh, I talked them, we talked down to 300. So 25 pieces times 300, it came out to 7,500. I managed to talk them down to 7,400. So I bought 25 pieces for $7,400. That's $7,400, which averages out to $296 for each Samsung S7 Edge. That's these phones right here. Um, I actually opened one just so I could show you guys that there's legit a phone in here. It's a S7 Edge. It's brand new. It's sealed. This this seal I just broke for this video. So I'm going to have to sell this a little cheaper than all my other ones. So number two, how much did I sell these S7 Edges for? Um, pretty much, I've been, I posted them up for $475. i have been selling them for $475, $450, $425 was my lowest so far that I've sold it for. So I'm going to average that out to about $440 a piece that I'm selling them for. So when I do the math, uh, $440 a piece times 25. So I will, or I should have $11,000 by the time I sell all my S7 edges. And if I subtract my 11,000 by my $70,400, that will make $3,600 profit just on the S7 edges, which is not bad. Another thing I was, I am selling is um, G6s. I had a five of these. I pretty much been buying them for 300 and selling them for 400 to 420. That's the LG G6. This is my last one, so I'm not gonna break the seal. Um, another thing I had was S7s. I had a bunch of S7s and I've been getting those for 250 and I've been selling them for 400 and, but I have none here to display because I, I literally sold them all within the past like four days that I've been trying to record this video. And another thing is S8s or S8 pluses. Well, the S8s I've been buying for 500 and I've been selling them for 700. Actually, just yesterday I, I traded slash sold an S8 because at first, initially, I was going to sell it for $675 to this girl. And then she told me she had this iPhone 7 right here. And pretty much, um, she wanted to trade me the iPhone 7, which is a 128GB iPhone 7, plus $250, I think. And I was like, I really prefer cash. But if you do iPhone 7 plus 128GB plus $300, I'll do the deal. At first, she was hesitant. And she's like, that's too much. And I'm like, it's okay. I'd rather just take cash then. And then eventually she said yes. So I ended up getting this phone plus $300. This phone alone, I'm going to probably end up selling for like $600 to $550. So in the end, I sold that S7 Edge for like $900 to $850, which is about $400 to $350 profit on one S8 Plus, which is really good. That makes me happy when I earn that in one day, which literally it took one, less than an hour to make that transaction. my hottest selling android and my hottest selling android i'm gonna say is the samsung s7 um i know everyone would expect it to be the s8 plus i've sold note 8s i've sold s8s but it's it's because those phones are too expensive like the note 8s i sell for about a thousand dollars not everyone on craigslist or kijiji is gonna want to spend a thousand dollars eight hundred dollars six hundred dollars because a lot of people that are going to shop on Craigslist or Kijiji are on a budget and they don't have a thousand dollars to be throwing down on a phone. So the S7s I've been selling for about 400 to 420 and that's like perfect in some people's price range. Even that is a little too much for some people. So I think I pretty much covered everything about how I buy and sell these Android phones. Um, like I said, I play for both teams, iPhones and Androids. I like to sell both. I don't discriminate which one's better. Um, there is a better seller though. 
I will be making a video of which phone is better to sell, iPhones versus Androids, and there is a unanimous winner. If you guys want to make a guess in the comment section, you guys can go for it. Also, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Bye! Moving like the speed of sound. We can keep on the ground. Can't stay in one place. Keep moving like a bullet train. Like a bullet train.